amazing new footage of female humanoid robots. From Apple's iPhone Assistant Siri to the mechanized attendants at Japan's first robot-staffed hotel, a seemingly disproportionate percentage of artificial intelligence systems have female personas. Why? Find out today! Don't miss the eerie interview of the latest female humanoid towards the end. Ah, uh, thank us later. The Virtual World The very first chatbot was named Eliza even though it is a silent software program without any voice or physical form. Sophia by Hanson Robotics and Erika by Hiroshi Ishiguro are perhaps the most famous humanoid celebrities. Sophia spoke on 60 Minutes with Charlie Rose, appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, was covered by major newspapers, and had an on-screen date with Will Smith. Saudi Arabia bestowed her with citizenship. Professor Ishiguro, the creator of Erika, famously said that he was trying to make the most beautiful woman in Erika. When Japanese men went on a date with Erika, they blushed while flirting with her, even though they were fully aware that she was actually a machine. What Sophia and Erika have in common is that they are both conversation companions. Are virtual assistants and conversation companions female because of the social belief that women are better in these roles? Meanwhile, physical robots like Hermes the rescue bot from MIT and Atlas the robot that can parkour from Boston Dynamics look distinctly male in their shape and form. Is it because they are stronger with a more male looking shape? An absurd pattern. I think there is a pattern here, said Carl Frederick McDorman, a computer scientist and expert in human-computer interaction at Indiana University, Purdue, University Indianapolis. But I don't know that there's one easy answer, McDorman said. One reason for the glut of female artificial intelligences and androids, which are basically robots designed to look or act like humans, may be that these machines tend to perform jobs that have traditionally been associated with women. For example, many robots are designed to function as maids, personal assistants, or museum guides, McDorman said. In addition, many of the engineers who design these machines are men, and I think men find women attractive and women are also okay dealing with women, he added. Voice of Siri Siri is perhaps today's most well-known example of AI. The name Siri in Norse means a beautiful woman who leads you to victory and the default voice is a female American persona known as Samantha. Apple acquired Siri in 2010 from the research nonprofit SRI International. Siri's voice now comes in male or female form and can be set to a number of different languages. In his own research, McDorman studies how men and women react to voices of different genders. In one study, he and his colleagues played clips of male and female voices and gave people a questionnaire about which voice they preferred. Then the researchers gave people a test that measured their implicit or subconscious preferences. The men in the study reported that they preferred female voices, but they showed no implicit preference for them, whereas the women in the study implicitly preferred female voices to male ones even more than they admitted in the questionnaire. I think there's a stigma for males to prefer males, but there isn't a stigma for females to prefer females, McDorman said. Rise of the Fembots does the same trend toward female personas also exist among humanoid robots? When it comes to a disembodied voice, the chances of it being female are probably slightly higher than of it being male, said Kathleen Richardson, a social anthropologist at University College London in England. But when it comes to making something fully humanoid, it's almost always male. And when humanoid robots are female, they tend to be modeled after attractive, subservient young women, Richardson said. For example, the Japanese roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University has designed some of the world's most advanced androids, such as the Replier R1, which was based on his then five-year-old daughter. Ishiguro also developed the Replier Q1 Expo, which was modeled after Ayako Fuji, a female news announcer at NHK, Japan's national public broadcasting organization. Ishiguro even created a robotic clone of himself that is so realistic it verges on creepy. Recently, Ishiguro developed a series of Actroid robots, manufactured by the Japanese robotics company Kokoro, for the world's first robot-staffed hotel. The droids, which resemble young Japanese women, will act as reception attendants, waitresses, cleaners, and cloakroom attendants. Female AI personas can also be found in fiction. For example, the movie Her features an artificial intelligent operating system, incidentally named Samantha, who is seductively voiced by Scarlett Johansson. 
Her human owner, played by Joaquin Phoenix, ends up falling in love with her. What does this trend in creating attractive, flawless female robots say about society? I think that probably reflects what some men think about women, that they're not fully human beings, Richardson said. What's necessary about them can be replicated, but when it comes to more sophisticated robots, they have to be male. Another reason for having female robots could be that women are perceived as less threatening or more friendly than men, Richardson said. And the same could be said of childlike robots. Hollywood's vision of robots, such as in the Terminator and the Matrix movies, makes them seem scary. But if we designed robots to be like children, we could get people to be more comfortable with them, Richardson said. Which brings us to the last part of today's video. Yep, the video you'd been waiting for. Engineered Arts, a UK-based designer and manufacturer of humanoid robots, recently showed off one of its most lifelike creations in a video posted on YouTube. The robot, called a mecha, is shown making a series of incredibly human-like facial expressions. At the start of the video, a mecha appears to wake up as its face conveys a mix of confusion and frustration when it opens its eyes. But when a mecha starts looking at its hands and arms, the robot opens its mouth and raises its brows in what it looks like is amazement. The end of the video shows a mecha smiling and holding a welcoming handout towards the viewer, if that's how you want to interpret that gesture. Sorry to disappoint, but a mecha doesn't walk, flip, or do parkour like Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot does. That said, we likely won't see a mecha walking and talking among us anytime soon. Engineered Arts says the bot is currently unable to walk, although it wants to give it that ability at some point. As for whether a mecha operates using AI, Engineered Arts explains that it leaves AI capabilities up to developers. It just handles the ultra-realistic bodies. Enter Mesmer. If a mecha doesn't creep you out enough, Engineered Arts also developed another realistic bot named Mesmer. The company says that it used 3D scans of actual humans to give the bot accurate bone structure, skin texture, and lifelike facial expressions. In a video posted just days after the Emeka showcase, Mesmer makes a series of expressions that looks even more convincing, given that this bot has more lifelike skin and facial features than Emeka does at the moment. Since Engineered Arts focuses on creating humanoid robots for entertainment, Emeka and Mesmer will likely be the center of attention at venues and events, rather than robots designed to do a specific job or take over all of humanity. The world isn't far from the days when humanoid robots will be deeply integrated into our lives and will handle major tasks that we are fully capable of doing ourselves. However, some even fear a potential apocalypse courtesy of the same robots that are being developed using artificial intelligence. Possibly supporting one of the two aforementioned possibilities, one of the world's richest men and tech mogul, Elon Musk, has given a heads up that the real androids are just years away from entering the human world. Replying to a Twitter video featuring Mesmer, Musk wrote, Real androids are coming which might be a warning about the dominance robots might have on our lives in a few years. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.